Hello everyone! Today's video is going to be a birthday haul. In the past, I've never really done birthday hauls. I've only like really done them in vlogs, but this year I kind of just wanted to do a video as a way to show my appreciation for everyone that got me a gift. Obviously, no one had to do that. It's just very nice of everyone and I of course bought some books for myself because like I am who I am so I figured I would do this haul video and open up my gifts on camera because that's always super fun so let's get into it. So this video might have several parts if I get packages in the next few days but it is actually my birthday when I filmed this and I wasn't gonna not open my stuff on my birthday because I don't have that kind of patience so Anyways, the first thing that I bought for myself was yesterday I was in Target. I bought Shine Your Own Crown by Amanda Lovelace, which is a sequel to Break Your Glass Slippers. I haven't read it yet, but this is like the first time a poetry collection really stood out to me. And so I've decided that I'm going to be reading these like eventually. And like it just feels like a poetry book I'm going to want to like annotate and like put my soul into. So I can't wait. I love the princess theme and I'm excited to check out more poetry. So yes, I bought this for myself. Okay, first package. I think a box cutter is extremely satisfying. Oh, wait. Oh, interesting. So, this is something I just put on my wish list. Let's see. So, this is from Chanel, and it says, Happy birthday. I love you. You're such a wonderful friend. I'm so happy to have you in my life. Lots of hugs and kisses. Hope you love this. LOL. Hee <laughs> hee from Chanel. So I think I'm gonna take these like slips that I get from the gifts and make a bullet journal like spread out of it because I just love them. The book that she got me is Atlas Six by Olive Blake and I think this is an independently published book that I had seen and it just looks so interesting. Oh, and she actually designed the cover herself. So let's see what this is about. Obviously it's gifts so I don't like have summaries prepared. So it's about the Alexandrian society caretakers of lost knowledge from the greatest civilizations of antiquity. Um, Secret Society of Ma Magical Academics. Now, those are two words that I like together. And so each decade, only six magicians are like initiated into the society. And so in the land, then we have the last round of six. So the candidates are recruited by the mysterious Atlas Blakely and are told they have one year to qualify for initiation. And during which time they will be permitted preliminary access to the society's archives and judged based on their contributions. Five, they are told, will be initiated and one will be eliminated. Oh, I mean, I just love like the whole like academic mad magicians. Ooh, is there pictures? Oh, there's pictures. This gets even better, pictures. Like, am I a child where there's like a picture in a book and I'm like, this is it. I definitely been meaning, like, since reading like fantasy romance, I don't think this is really fantasy romance, but like it has been the avenue for me into more like independently published books. So I am excited to read this. Thank you so much, Chanel. Love you. I'm so happy that we're friends. Okay, let's go on to this box now. Satisfying. Oh my god, oh my goodness, oh. All right, so we have three. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm, okay, I'm laughing so much, okay. So these are from Keely, and she says, I love this series so much, and I hope you do too. Happy birthday from Keely. Happy birthday, I love you so much from Johnny's wife. <laughs> hope you have a great birthday, I love you from also Mark Lee's wife, which those are two people from NCT that Keely Olds, if, you don't know what NCT is, it's a K-pop boy group, but love you, Kaylee. Thank you. Well, I'm so excited. She got me the Victoria Schwab middle grade series, which is City of Ghosts, Tunnel of Bones, and Bridge of Souls. And if you know me, Victoria Schwab is like easily one of my favorite authors, and I've read the first two on audio so i didn't have them physically so i'm so excited to own them oh my god thank you keely i love you forever xoxo um yes you are both johnny's wife and mark lee's wife i will validate that for you so oh my god i'm just so happy today next box honestly who decided to give me a box cutter i mean i bought it myself because i'm an adult but i still feel like it's dangerous 
Okay, what's in here? Ooh. I have a feeling I might know who this is from. This is definitely, I know exactly who this is from, okay. So, we have two notes that say, Avi, I got you the Schwab you need from me. And what else did you expect, ho, from your lover? Um, those are from Maddie. Maddie from Princess of Paperback, and she got me the Dark Vault, which is a bind up of the Archived series, which is like one of the last Schwab ones that I needed. And I really enjoyed this bind up because the style of this matches like the Yeek style of her other covers. So that's why I wanted this one. Thank you, Maddie. And she obviously got me Beyond the Ruby Veil vale by Mara Fitzgerald because this was like her top book of 2020 and so I put it on my list because it was her top book and I'm like, well, that seems interesting. Um, and then of course she went and bought it for me because, duh. <laughs> Thank you, Maddie. Love you. Okay, uh, I think I have one more box for the time being. Let's see what's in here. I'm like afraid because it feels like it's popping out. Oh, it's just the air thing. <laughs> oh, what book is this? Oh. Katie, this book is fantastic and I think you'll love it. Happy days of birth. You better not open this too soon. You're a wonderful person. Love you, Bean. From Soleil. Thank you, Soleil. I got a Song of Rates and Ruin by Roseanne A. Brown, which is a book that I had as an arc and I never got around to reading it. Like, I got it from ALA, so like I wasn't under an obligation to read it, so I didn't read like a lot of the books that I got from there. It's not that I didn't want to read it, it's just that like I had a lot. But I really, really do want to read this one and I was planning on trying to get to it soon. I think it has to do with vengeful spirits and like court politics. Obviously, I'm, I'm just going on the fly here. Um, let's see. Okay, so a vengeful spirit abducts Malik's younger sister, Nadia, as payment to enter the city. And so Malik strikes a fatal deal, kill Karina, crown princess of Zirin, in exchange for Nadia's freedom. But Karina has deadly aspirations of her own, and her mother, the Sultana, has been assassinated. So, okay, okay. Is this enemies to lovers? I think it is. I've heard nothing but great things. This finished copy is so stunning. Wow, I'm so happy right now. I have wonderful friends. Like, I'm just emo because I feel like I've met so many wonderful people through the booktube community and it just warms my heart and I'm just thankful for everyone that ever, like, even just comments on my videos, gets or interacts with me. Like, everyone always makes my day and I'm just so happy to have wonderful friends. So thank you everyone for making my birthday special. Love you all. Okay, hello, I am back and I have another box to unbox. Okay, let's see what's inside. Oh. Oh, okay. So this is Heart of Iron, which is by Nina Varela. I literally have had this in my cart for so long because I just feel like I'm gonna want to treat this right after I read Cryer's War, which is on my May TBR after it was on my April TBR. Um, and this is from Austin. So they said, happy birthday. I love you so much. And I hope I get to see you again soon. We hung out at BookCon 2019 and it was so much fun. Austin's mom was also there. Like it was a great time. And we haven't seen each other since. So yeah, I hope one day we get to see each other. But this is so exciting. Yay, thank you, Austin. It's just my heart so happy. And this note is going to the pile of all the notes I have to make a cute little bullet journal spread. And look, there she is on the shelf. Beautiful. Hello, so this is gonna be the last part of my little birthday haul. It's been a bit since I last filmed a clip, that way all of my packages have had a chance to come in. So this isn't a book, but my friends Leah and Courtney got me Twice's album, page two. This is one of their older albums because I'm currently collecting their discography. If you stand twice, let me know in the comments. We can be BFFs. Um, but yeah, I love them so much. I love all their music. And so I'm now one step closer to completing their album collection, which is very exciting. And like this concept is just so cute. The concept was like either cheerleaders or famous movies and TV shows, which is very great. I highly suggest watching their music video, Cheer Up, if you haven't, because it's a masterpiece. So now I have some books that my parents got for me. The first thing that they got me is this like silver 
bullet journal cover from Archer and Olive with like sparkles on the front and it, it's like this plastic cover to protect your bullet journal and I love it because I noticed that the back of this journal was kind of getting like a little dirty and just scuffed up so keeps everything all protected and it has a little clasp so even though you can't do like the loopy thing like you can still clasp it closed and I just think it's a great way to protect your bullet journal and so they also got me this bullet journal because I don't have enough space for the whole year in that one and this is like this stars theme and I, again I have the plastic cover for it I went with clear for this time so that the pattern could be completely displayed and it has iridescent edges look at that but yeah I'm really excited I'm gonna start using this in for the second half of the year so my July spreads will be the first that go in here the next thing that they got me is the invisible life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab but the UK edition that I honestly forgot I sent the link for this to my mom to purchase but I did I'm really happy that I did because I love this edition but even more stunning is underneath the dust jacket is this print on the hardback I had to have it for my V.E. Schwab collection I don't collect currently the UK editions of her other books but I think I might need to do that comment down below if you think that I should collect the UK editions of V.E. Schwab's books because <laughs> I feel like I should you know I feel like I should Oh, and it has like this cool text, which is different from the US one. I'm currently in the middle of The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue right now while I'm filming this. Loving every second of it, as I knew that I would. Oh, and if you didn't know, The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue is about a girl that was born in the 1700s in France, and she strikes a deal with a god that answers after dark, wanting to escape an arranged marriage, and so she can live forever, but nobody will ever remember her. And on the anniversary, of their bargain the devil comes to visit her and sees if she is ready to give up her soul yet and this is Addie's existence for 300 years until one day in a bookshop someone remembers her and things and see from there it's so good the writing is so lyrical magical adore it the next thing is when I was visiting my parents in Florida, I was there for like a birthday trip. I went to Barnes and Noble and I bought myself some things and they're very exciting. And the first thing is this Boba RJ I literally wanted this so bad and I couldn't find it online and I just gave up hope that I would ever find this cute little plushie and then it was just in Barnes and Noble and it was the only one that was there not of RJ but of like the entire Boba plushie collection from BT21 so I immediately purchased him because I was like it's fate then I got this cute bookmark let me take out the thing I've just been really obsessed with tassel bookmarks lately um, but this one is a little fox and it says I read past my bedtime and I'm always staying up past my bedtime to read books so I knew that I should purchase this. And finally I did buy a book at Barnes & Noble and that is Sweet and Bitter Magic by Adrienne Tooley. I've been seeing this everywhere and from Perfect Paperbacks has like repeatedly convinced me to read this book and so I finally purchased it and I'm so excited about it. Also if you take off the dust jacket a little ribbon on the front. I love the little details. This is a sapphic romance and Tamsin is a really powerful witch. However, she is cursed and exiled and she can never experience any emotion, especially love. And then we also have Ren who is a source, a person that has magic but can't use it. They are just a source for other people. And so she tries to hide this ability while also taking care of her father. And then when a magical plague strikes, Ren's father falls victim. And so she bargains with Tamsin so that if Tamsin helps her catch the dark witch responsible for the plague, she will give Tamsin the love that she experiences for her father. Yes, I'm so, so excited to read this. Definitely keep an eye out for this on my future TBRs. It's coming. I'm going to keep putting it on a TBRs until I read it because I need to read it. While I was in Florida, I read the next two installments in the Keeper of the Lost Cities series and I'm like, you know what, I need the next ones. So then I went ahead and bought Keeper of the Lost Cities Lodestar and Keeper of the Lost Cities Nightfall. This is book five and six in the series. This is a middle grade that is quickly becoming one of my favorite middle grades. We follow Sophie who has had the ability to read minds her whole life and as far as she knows she's the only person that has this ability until one day she stumbles across this boy on a field trip that can also read minds and from there she discovers that she's actually an elf and she goes to the Lost Cities which is where 
the elves live and learns all about being an elf and what her powers and abilities and being raised in the human world mean for her and it's just so crazy and insane and i just absolutely adore the world building and the characters the found family it's everything and so i have been slowly making my way through th this series and just loving and adoring every single second of it so i'm really excited to have these installments in the series honestly you can see here it just kind of devolves into oh i have money to spend and it's around my birthday so i'm just gonna buy things because that's kind of how it went um but we have the midnight library by matt haig and this is because i am in isabella from throne of pages discord server and we are doing a buddy read over there that is starting just about now um, for this book and i have seen it around and it just seems so intriguing after you die you go to this library where you can see what would happen if you had made different choices in your life and it enables you to live as if you did something differently in your life and this concept just seems so incredible and i feel like it's going to be a very poignant and moving novel and i can't wait to start it then next you can see i just got these because they're literally some plastic but keely from vampire keely has been literally talking non-stop about her reread of the remnant chronicles and how much she adores these books and i saw it for a pretty good price on amazon so I was like, you know what? I think I need to dive into these. These are just like classic YA fantasy and I love a good classic YA fantasy. Um, I've just always heard great things about this and there is a spinoff series that's currently out, which is like a spinoff duology called Dance of Thieves, which I just have always loved those books because the covers are so pretty. So in the Remnant Chronicles, I'm pretty sure we follow a girl who is like betrothed to this prince and then she runs away and she is followed by two people an assassin and the prince that she's supposed to marry and she interacts with them and she doesn't know who is who and things ensue from there and yeah it's this whole series and like i said hopefully this will be on a future tbr because i want to read it whenever my friends literally hype up a series to me i'm like okay let's go to amazon.com and press purchase because i need to read it and this next one is a book that I bought because it's something that I already read, but I kept thinking about how I read it and didn't own a physical copy, and I wanted a physical copy before the next book came out, and that is The Princess Will Save You by Sarah Henning. I just love this cover. I got it as an ARC and really enjoyed it when I read it over last summer, but then never picked up a physical copy, but then just seeing the cover for the sequel that's about to come out, I'm like, okay, I need to pick up a physical copy because I haven't stopped thinking about the fact that I don't own a physical copy yet. And I use my birthday as a very convenient excuse to purchase this. And it says, a fresh and feminist fantasy adventure inspired by the Princess Bride. If you are looking for a Princess Bride retelling, you won't find it here, but there are definitely elements of it that are inspired from that original work. It's kind of like reversed. So Emronde, who is our princess, is the one that's more adventurous and swashbuckling and then we have Luca, her beloved ever since childhood who is the more docile and tame one and he just works in the stables and it's a beautiful adventure. I adore it. And it's actually, it was slated to be a duology but now it's going to be a trilogy so I can't wait. The cover for the sequel, I'll just put it here. So gorgeous. I want to read it soon. And then the last thing that I purchased for myself for my birthday is Realm Breaker by Victoria Aveyard. And the story with this one is that I actually purchased a ticket to her book talk at Barnes & Noble, which was in conversation with Sabah Tahir. And I really enjoyed attending that event. This one isn't signed, which is fine by me. I just love hearing authors talk. I have loved going to book signings, especially ever since I moved to Boston. There's a lot more opportunities to go to them and I've been so sad that I haven't been able to. So when places do virtual events like this, I just really try and go to them because they're so fun and I love hearing authors talk about their work. So I'll just read you the back of this one because I think it does a better job than I can do describing it. A squire, the survivor of a failed quest. An immortal, timeless, and unfathomable. An assassin, skilled and heartless. An old sorceress, holding secrets behind her teeth. And a pirate's daughter, the ward's last hope. The heroes are gone, but the fight to save the world has only just begun. I love the Red Queen series when I read it. It definitely is one of the series that brought me back into reading YA. And so I can't wait to give this a try because it's just like a ragtag group of friends going to save the realm, which is everything that I love in fantasy. So that is it for my little birthday haul. I just want to say a sincere thank you to 
not only my friends that got me stuff because it's not about the presents, but everyone that, that took the time to say happy birthday to me. I really appreciate and love you all. And thank you for loving me here on BookTube. And have some fun reads and books. I'll catch you guys in the next one.